Well, now we are to the question and answer session and uh, Edita and myself are very happy to reply to your question. Uh, Samuli from Finland is asking, when should the heel touch the floor when coming out from chassis in the next step? So, first of all, I would like to advise to Samuli to ask the questions in more precise way. So, first of all, chassis, which kind of chassis? From the prominent position, progressive chassis to the right, and uh, is it the uh, lady step, is it men's step? And uh, of course, uh, that is a very imprecise question and difficult to answer. Um, I'm presuming uh, that uh, the answer would be, uh, if we're talking, of course, about the walls, uh, at the end of free, the when we're free. going yes. down. So, yes. at the end of free. In the end of free, if we talk about the walls, and then, uh, yes, I agree, it uh, should be more clear the question. Please, Samuel, send once again the question and be more precise and specific because otherwise Edita, she's become very angry. Uh, the next question is Damir from Netherlands. Uh, how to keep a good body connection in commencing the reverse turn figure, reverse figures? Uh, I will um, I will let you answer first. Of course, um, this kind of question is a little bit more specific and uh, we already in the previous lectures about the posture, we spoke about the body connection and about the center of gravity. And uh, I would say uh, any reverse figure should commence with the CBM in the lower part as any reverse figure drive principle and then of course at the end of the drive both partners have to try to feel that their left shoulder blade is presented forward and the hip is square to each other so that is the most important thing if you want to know about pressure in the center of gravity of course uh, that would be uh, movement already so if we uh, spoke in the previous lectures about the pressure in the standing position that we mentioned number five from the zero to ten we took medium and we said that both partners have to keep pressure in inside of the center number five when we start to move when we commence to move the person who is moving back has to reduce a little bit the pressure and we gave the number four and the person who is moving forward has to increase the pressure to become number six so therefore, how we move generally, not only in the reverse figures, in any figures, mm. moving driving steps. But of course, reverse figures are very special because the CBM starts very strongly in the lower part of the body and not in the upper part. Yes. Next question from Aisa from Turkey. How can we easily do progressive chassis and how can we improve our connection in the lower body with my partner? As we spoke already before, progressive chassis, I'm assuming progressive chassis to the right, is a reverse figure. Therefore, we have, must have CBM just in the lower part to start. Uh, depends if we're doing progressive chassis as a classical version, so with the classical drive, or we're doing progressive chassis with the roll through the left. If we're gonna do with the roll, of course, at the end, the upper part of the body will turn in order to arrive nearly into contra check position but if i'm assuming that you're asking about the classical progressive chassis cbm has to be just in the lower part upper part has to remain under 10. about the lower part connection if we're talking about the center it's the same as any drive forward or back connection has to remain still strong of course, the person who is moving back reducing a little bit the pressure and the person who is moving forward increasing the pressure. Now I will show you together with Mirko the connection that you must have in the leg. So if you concentrate on the lower part, we are doing the CBM action extremely in the lower part and I'm having trying to have my foot nearly outside, not so much as it would be more rotation. So I'm trying to rotate the lower part and will keep my knee 
inside Mirko's knee outside. And at the end of the drive, we have to try to keep the left shoulder blade forward and in the lower part, our connection is changing from the natural action that was like this in the reverse action that is more like this. I think we answered the question and we can continue. Yes, next question is Marta from Croatia. Can you briefly explain how you do pivots? Which action do you find the most important while doing pivots? Uh, yes, also this one we have played already. Edita was very good to explain into the foot action. And you can find, of course, uh, into the website. Therefore, but uh, I would like to again stand up and demonstrate to you, even by myself. Okay. Because pivots, uh, we talk about uh, pivots, and it's very important usually once we're moving backward, because the person that is moving backward has to pivot the foot once it stays inside of the turn. So the exercise will be like a natural pivot that you can have like this twisting of the foot to the floor once you transfer the way to have one full rotation or maybe a reverse pivot which is different because in the natural pivot you use a little bit also the CBM into the upper part and you're using the body rotation. Into the reverse pivot you should use in just the CBM in the lower part and you use just the hip rotation by maintaining forward the left side. So it's very important in order to do it correctly pivot, the person that uh, used to stay inside of the turn, the person that uh, used to create in the centripetal force in order to let uh, give the speed to the pivot and to let pass the person that is stay outside of the turn that should use the centrifugal force. Uh, next question. Jennifer Ching from Poland also asks, how do you keep your flexibility while holding the frame as a lady or man? Are there any exercises, things to keep in mind to improve this? So in this case, you should check uh, on the Dance Sport Live the lecture about the body actions and there were also exercises in order to of course keeping the shoulder line so this also includes the frame of course and uh, you exercise the three actions uh, which was uh, rolling action you exercise infinite action and you uh, exercise banana action so in this case, you will improve your flexibility, not destroying the shoulder line, if you mean the flexibility in the upper part of the body, as I understand. So those kind of exercises will help you a lot in order to see uh, your barriers. Of course, it's very important, the hand connection. So because the man's right arm is on the lady's shoulder blade, it is very important that the lady stay good in the position that she starts. So she starts immediately with the left shoulder blade up and during all the actions she perform it in a way that the left shoulder blade is staying light. So if you do it, will do your flexibility in the correct actions, you will not destroy your lines of the upper part of the body. So that would be my advice. Yes, uh, I agree as well. Uh, definitely, in Jennifer did a very good question for me because often we find, I find uh, uh, during my lesson to the couple that once I ask uh, to have a uh, um, more strong frame, I can see that uh, immediately they be able to show me more strong frame and more stability, but a little bit they will start to be a little bit fixed and not so much flexible and also once I ask them to have more flexibility they start to lose a little bit the frame so it's uh, not so easy to balance these two things of course by using uh, a good exercise that uh, Edita mentioned before uh, for sure will help uh, to improve uh, and, uh, stability into the frame plus uh, flexibility so keep practice and for sure you will improve. Next question. Next question is Matthew from Netherlands. <clears throat> One question. I have a problem with 
where to focus my look eyes when stay to the left of my partner. As a great and beautiful as she is, I know I should very rarely look straight to her. So what is the best direction of the head to make it look as natural as possible during walls, foxtrot, etc. Thank you. Uh, luckily, Matthew, that your partner is beautiful. We're happy for you. We're happy for you. And uh, I already see that maybe you fall in love with your partner and we're happy for you. <laughs> uh, yes, well, uh, there is a figure in the ballroom dancing that usually we call that we have more uh, right sway figure. Alto's figure is the figure that we should uh, present uh, as a man our flower, which is the lady. So in that situation, you should focus more your eyes was to your partner, or exactly on top of your head of your partner. I try to give an example. If uh, with the Dita, I will dance uh, and um, throw away over sway, okay, I have throw away over sway, and then I try to, in the end of the throw over sway, to watch with my eyes was to my beautiful partner, and not maybe to the left, or not, and maybe to my lower shoulder. Of course, my head turned into my lower shoulder, but it's not really to the side of the body. It's still always focused to my partner. So, in this situation of the figure, you should, uh, you should focus your eyes uh, onto the face of your partner in order to show which part is the beauty of the couple. I would like to advise also to check our lectures about the posture. And uh, when Mirko mentioned that the head is turning to the lower shoulder, uh, if you have a sway, the head will follow the lower shoulder and you can look actually at your partner. Now, too much turn, it would be incorrect because our head is turning from the center to the left, 45 degrees, and from the center to the right, only 45 degrees. So if you turn the head 45 degrees and you add a little bit sway, you will have always natural head position. Same from the center in the standing position without the sway to the right. From the center, 45 degrees to the left and then a little bit of sway, you will have the long stretch right side. So you will have always natural head position. Following, of course, the lower shoulder, following the sway. Next question, Tanya from Poland. How does a perfect good training session look like for you? So we already had similar question before and um, I believe uh, would be very good to start with a good stretch and good warm-up. So without warm-up and good stretch in the beginning, the practice session shouldn't start because you can also injure yourself. So after the physical action stretching that you don't need even your partner, uh, I advise everybody, if we're talking not about stamina practice, so we start with the quality analyze, analyzing the quality, analyzing the driving actions, a little bit what we did in our lectures when we analyzed the choreography that we presented. So you analyze your choreography, you dance through it, you have to be happy with the steps, the way you perform. You have to know the timing with your partner, you have to know the footwork, you have to know the principles. Of course, it would be perfect in, if, in that day if you're working on the quality in the walls um, and then you dance this full walls non-stop. Like this you practice a little bit also the stamina. So as I mentioned before, if it is before competition would be good also quality, then stamina and of course again at the end of the practice stretching would be amazing. Next question. Yes, Isabella from Netherlands. When we are dancing during a training, the response time between us is very fast. But during a competition, we fail each other less and the response to the action are slower. How can we get the same reaction time on the comp as we get during the training and achieve similar partnering? I can tell you just uh, what I feel uh, by the experience in my career. 
that uh, when me and my partner we were in the studio and practice, uh, I was concentrated in my uh, job in order to dance uh, uh, good, in order to do it the correct action, in order to lead the partner. And for sure the response in a dancing uh, studio was uh, much more fast. Once I go into the competition, I always uh, have uh, like distraction from uh, the other couple because I try to don't crash to the other couple and of course I try to make the, and a good floor craft and for sure often I didn't give uh, the correct information to my pattern, the information that usually uh, it was uh, uh, very confident into the practice. So my first advice that I will give you to practice together with the other couple in order to have uh, the same situation that you can find into the uh, dance competition. And of course, another advice that uh, I can give you in order to be more fast uh, to the response and to the giving the information to each other is to have uh, more competition. As more competition you're doing, as more you will be fast uh, to give the information to each other. Uh, as Mirko said, it's very important to do the practice with the other couple and also trying to avoid crashing and using the floor craft. And of course, the more these kind of practices you will do, the better you will become. Of course, in the competition also, the body weight is going up because of the stress. We uh, stop breathing. We stop breathing and that's why uh, we don't feel anything anymore. So everything goes like numb. So I would advise you also some uh, stress control in the competition. Try breathing and uh, of course, if you control the stress, as told Mirko before, also if you dance a lot of competitions, everything will improve. Yes, it's also that uh, for sure you will improve this thing. But as for example, me and Edith as well, uh, even that, uh, for example, last competition that we did in our dancing career, we felt one of the best competition but still not uh, like we felt into the, our practice. So often, uh, for sure, the feeling that you will have in the practice is always better than the feeling that you have in competition, because you have to understand also if you can control a little bit the, the panic, if you can control a little bit the adrenaline. And um, of course, as more you do competition and as more you become experienced to control the adrenaline and to control uh, the nervous system but in the end for sure you will never feel like into the practice that was the last question of uh, our Q&A session and uh, we will continue with the next questions later thank you very much <laughs>